that's not enough. Let's check this out. Twitch downloads. Let's kill this guy. And kill this guy. Cool. This should give us enough room. It should. Nice. And we should be live now. Yes, we are. Awesome. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to another live stream. And uh, today is a cooking stream. And what we're going to make today is a Persian eggplant dish. You can call it a stew, you can call it a casserole, but I guess it's more of a stew. So we're going to make a Persian eggplant stew and we're going to make rice with it as well. Okay. Dramatu, how are you doing? And Caterpillaring has been here for about half an hour since I posted it. X, Spider-Man, how are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I haven't. By the way, just to let you know, this is my favorite Persian dish, right? I really like this dish. It's I got a, I got a handful of favorite Persian dishes, but this is one of my favorite Persian dishes. Okay, and this is the first Persian dish I learned how to make, but I haven't made it for like 10 years okay so this is a 10 year it's been 10 years since i made this dish okay uh so we're gonna go through it i have to actually call up my mom and go uh mom uh what's the order of things <laughs> what do we gotta do i sort of got the base of it right because the uh, the base uh you make for these stews for the persian stews it's all the same right to a certain degree and then you add the extra ingredients right so actually sort of fine-tune just a reminder and uh, mom is a great place to go to to get your reminders right king how are you doing huckleberry how are you doing notifications went out fast dragons elder god hello hello how's everyone brett kelly how are you doing hello finally caught alive uh, after so many years awesome glad to have you here i didn't recognize your name so i assume you were uh new here to the live streams anyway ripper how are you doing eggplant tonight awesome awesome so listen gang i'm gonna give us uh give our little intro give t people uh, a little bit of time to catch up uh just to get the notifications and whatnot before we go at it um because we've got some stuff to do so we might uh, i don't want people to miss anything just then uh, just in case they want to write this down or follow this uh this recipe this cooking stream great lasagna how are you guys doing uh for those of you rolling in for those who are going to be watching this either on bitchute and youtube and i don't think i'm going to load the audio to soundcloud because we're not recording with a lapel mic if you want to follow what we're doing i am on patreon i do post uh, notifications of when I'm uploading stuff to Bitchu, to YouTube, to SoundCloud now. Um, and if you want to follow the work, Patreon is a great place to follow this work. Okay. Um, and I sort of share additional information of what the main theme of my of my work is, and you can check that stuff out. So if you do like what we're doing, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. And you can just follow if you don't, you know, if you don't have the funds to support this project with funds, you can just follow and see what we've been doing for the last little while. And if you do decide to support this project, Patreon is a great way to do this. We are live streaming this on Twitch. Uh, and that's twitch.tv backslash chicho live okay and if you want to participate in the discussion live twitch is where you want to be at and by following and subscribing is also a great way to support this project through twitch i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds and vk okay and those are the sort of uh announcement platforms uh that i'm semi-active on and i do announce when we're loading on the streams and whatnot on those platforms as well i am as of a week ago we are loading stuff on soundcloud we got our podcast platform going i do have to fine tune it still but any live streams any videos that we're going to do where there's no motion involved like a kitchen <laughs> i'm going to upload the audio to soundcloud so far we got two up there right now we're gonna have two more in the next two three days and then i might go back in our catalog and start uploading just the audio of certain streams that we've had because people have been asking me to do that for a long time and that's soundcloud.com backslash chicho okay and i am uploading these streams 
cooking streams for sure on both YouTube and BitChute uh, and other streams depending on technical difficulties allowing from BitChute or censorship permitting on YouTube uh, and we do upload there okay aside from that intro hello hello everyone I saw a whole bunch of people rolling in so I'm gonna take these guys down and I'm gonna start a couple of things right away before I try to catch up with chat because we do need to get stuff going right and it's the same routine as we have before the camera angles are I'm gonna turn the cameras on Boop. we got this guy and we're gonna cook rice in this right now okay because we've got to get the rice going and we have this camera here where we're gonna do the cutting so while we set up the rice we're gonna do all the cutting and stuff we need to put the stew together okay now let me turn I already got the water in here okay and I've already what I've done I'm gonna put this on high I might add a little bit more water later on let it boil for now I've already measured out about a cup and three quarters of uh, basmati long grain rice and I washed it yesterday so whenever I get rice I put it in a bowl and I wash it run water through it grab a spoon you know mix up the rice it gets cloudy pour out the water do it again and again and again and again and again right so this is what we got this is how much rice okay take a look and that's a fair bit of rice but I'm gonna make enough food for us to eat for at least three days right so this is this has been sitting since last night I washed it and put it in water since last night and what happens is the uh, rice sort of absorbs the water and you get they get a little bit bigger right so i'm just going to give it one more rinse as soon as the water boils i'm going to put the rice in here and get the rice going and then we're going to start uh, and then we're going to start chopping things up that's good enough I gave this a, a serious wash uh, yesterday okay aside from that let me get uh, until the water boils up uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, old beard old bread yes this is a good spot of tea how are you doing Catholic tradition it's good afternoon you love eggplants everybody loves it well some people don't like egg eggplants oh Graham how's it going Cheryl how are you doing my son is watching with me because he wants to learn how to cook awesome awesome hello Cheryl son <laughs> I was here early and bought chicho and apple ah uh, nice oh yeah he um caterpillaring reminded me he goes oh I had enough time to go pour myself a drink uh lemon liqueur with ice and soda okay fantastic super delicious okay I'm gonna scroll down just to Speedy Gonzalez at least stay up to the chat stored hello and good night too late for a tired sweet unfortunately happy cooking thank you very much stored I hope you have amazing dreams what's cooking we're gonna make a Persian eggplant eggplant dish Nicholas how are you doing what's up bro it's been it's been a while Nicholas I'm assuming you've been busy and I've been streaming on wacko times as well for the UK Nikki Great lasagna conversation Ripper and chat I apologize for missing the last week of streams no worries Ripper been dealing with uh, blown discs oh in my lower back but uh, was good today to sit for a bit and played the brand new predator hunting grounds game uh, which is an absolute love letter to the 1987 film and I'm feeling good to catch my match awesome it's, it's it's amazing yeah the game love letter to the 1987 film nice 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 Don Danite how are you doing what's in your setup here Chicho are you using uh, UBS extensions or is a laptop near La right now we got two cameras here camera camera okay and we got the laptop camera so I basically maxed out my camera of uh, my laptop right <laughs> I had, initially when I bought this I didn't realize I need a 
uh, UBS for each camera going in. I thought I could feed two cameras through one UBS and the uh, computer didn't like that, right? Uh, there was some other streams I wanted to do where I wanted to have four different cameras going. We'll have to wait uh, until we upgrade our system to be able to do more complex little streams. But this is pretty complex as it goes, right? Uh, Catholic tradition for future reference. If you ever whip up some uh, Kotap, I am volunteering as a taste tester. <laughs> I don't know what ko, go, ko, Kotap is but the taste tester if i could transport teleport it shit, press a button hannah how are you doing it's... okay i'm all the way down gang i'm gonna start chopping okay the water is good enough it's got little bubbles coming in we're gonna put the rice in there so it's out of my hair okay and uh i can get along with the other stuff right so take a look at this here let me bring this out this is the type of grains actually i can just do it here watch this this is the type of grains that we're talking about right so i'm going to pour this in and whenever you want to get the rice out of the dish just pour some water in there and just whirl it around and it picks up take a look and it picks up the rice right because rice likes to stick and they're little pieces and you just use water to get the rice out of the bowl. Okay. Let's do that. Let's put this guy here for now. Now I'm going to put the lid on this right away, closed. But very quickly I'm going to make the lid go like this. Give it an angle because that way the rice is not going to spill over. Okay. Uh, Nicholas, uh, Chicho yeah how to move house oh wow uh, uh to look after family members at this time so been busy okay stay uh take care of the family man nate how are you doing good evening from across the ocean chicho good evening good evening catholic just a guap deep fried iranian pastry with cardamom and almond uh, filling oh uh deep fried oh is that what it's called i call it like a different i call all of them bot level with the uh, the almond and the walnuts uh, we have a version of that we make it's super delicious very delicious great lasagna sorry Shisha, i think you missed my question before i asked if the dish you're making today is vegan no it's got meat uh, or can be easily made vegan because i love to try cooking uh something new you know what um it, like we use the meat for the meat flavor but if you have uh, tofu and spices you can put in whatever flavor you like you can make it that way you'll see because the meat is just one of the ingredients it's a lot of vegetables right let me show you what we're gonna put in there here uh, we got the recipe calls for it okay we got onions okay we got eggplants we got tomatoes we got red and orange peppers you can put green peppers in there as well but I just put peppers in there. So once we start chopping it up, I'll show you how this stuff works. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start getting at it, gang. Okay. So I'm gonna scan the chat, get into it, and not. Uh, if there's anything directed toward me, put Chicho in front, and I'll try to address it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut up the onions. Okay. Now, all the stuff we're gonna use one, one stove top. Okay. Uh, one element I could use two but I want to show you guys all the cutting and whatnot right so we're gonna keep it chill on one element and we're gonna do all our cutting here okay he eats meat but he uh, eats super healthy and uh, local that's how <laughs> yeah unfortunately i can tell you this this much about the meat today uh, i wasn't able to get my hands on grass-fed beef usually uh it's grass-fed beef but uh, where i went to didn't have it uh, where i go to usually didn't have it the place i wanted to get, get it from i usually get it from is what's closed they were opening up later they changed their hours 
um, and I had to get the material, right? So, baklava, Greek. We know how to make baklava. I know how to make baklava. I make great baklava. Family recipe. One day we do. I'll show you guys our baklava recipe. Baklava, Sohan. Uh, I will taste test all of the cash like tradition. So. <laughs> the bar level will make at some point for sure. The bar level will make. Uh, I'll show you guys how we used to make the bar level and sell it in farmers markets, and uh, it's sold, sold out. Okay, we used to have in Vancouver. Just to give you a little uh, heads up, uh, just a little story regarding the bar level in Vancouver. We set up a farmer's market one year, okay? And uh, it was downtown Vancouver, and Vancouver's a filming city. So there was a lot of uh, actors and crew, crew people and stuff uh, that work inside Vancouver, right? Every Sunday when we set up, set up for the farmer's market, we used to have this one actor, uh, and he's... He, he starred in some stuff and been, he's a good actor, he's European. <laughs> Every Sunday, he would be there and uh, he would be waiting for us to arrive to set up. Uh, usually, he would be waiting. Sometimes he would show up after we had set up and he would walk up and just go, baklava. <laughs> we'd give him a box of baklava and he'd go. The last week we were there, uh, he realized it was the last week we were gonna be there. And he bought two, two little packages we had of baklava. Okay. So I'm just gonna chop up some onions. And we're gonna put them in a bowl and, because we're gonna fry up onions. Now I might have a little bit too much onions here, but I wanna make a nice batch. Okay. Some people might have just said two is enough, but uh, I'm gonna do three. rice is kicking up. I gotta keep a close eye on the rice. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna lift this. I don't want to get distracted and uh, rice spill over. When can we expect a collaboration music review stream with uh, Nardwar? I don't know. We're in different cities now with Nardwar, so... And Nardwar does his own thing. And my thing is not music, even though I love music. And by the way, there was a time... Uh, I'm just kicking this guy down, the rice. I'm putting him down to four, okay? Uh, just a little uh, thing with Nardwar. Uh, we used to work out in the same gym too. Uh, we did live close together. So there was a period where we were working on the same gym. And yes, Nardwar goes to the gym. Okay. Uh, and uh, this was uh, in the mid 2000s where I had gone to System of Down Hypnotize and stuff like this. And I told Nardwar, listen, Nardwar, you gotta interview System of Down, man. Dude, you gotta, you gotta get in there. Uh, and he's like, System of Down, and he's like, da, 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 da. And I told him System of Down, he knew about them, but he didn't know too much about them. And uh, a few months later, I saw him again in the gym. And uh, he told me that he contacted System of Down to get an interview, in, but they didn't give him an interview. Right. They didn't reply back to him. Okay. I love onions, but can't eat them, as I have a fought the map allergy. Fought map allergy. Fought map allergy. I don't know what is. Boop. Let's put the onions in this. Okay, I'm going to put the onions in this bowl. Okay. I'm going to cut one more up. I'm going to do two and a half onions. I gave myself a haircut this morning. <laughs> I know a lot of people are stressing over haircuts, but I've been cutting my own hair for the last uh, 20 years. Longer, maybe. Yeah, longer, I think. Yeah, longer. I've been cutting my own hair.
And a heads up, gang. My mom and my grandma might be watching today. So if you see uh, some new names popping up in the chat saying, Oh no, Chicho, stop it. You're doing it wrong. And that's mom and grandma. One day I'll get my mom to come on these live streams. Okay. I tried a long time ago to put her on camera to start making uh, cooking videos with mom. Uh, she's camera shy. She didn't bite. Yeah, for sure, gang. We're PG. This stream is chill for everyone. Okay. This is food stream. No messing around. We've done a lot of heavy streams in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so it's a good idea just to keep it chill. Okay. Check this out. This is how much onions I got. All right. Take a look. So that's two, three medium sized onions. I call those medium sized onions. Okay. So three medium sized onions. Now I should have actually cut up the potatoes first and I didn't. So I'm going to give this a wash. And I'm going to flip it so we cut up the potatoes on the other side so the onion flavor doesn't go in. Because the potatoes we need for something else. just gonna flip it so on this side we'll cut up stuff that we don't care about the onion ripper it's an annoyance that when it is uh, it is uh, food that are high FODMAP are basically impossible for my body oh onions man so garlic as well so what we're gonna do I'm gonna make the potatoes cut them up thin Uncharted days. How are you doing? What are you? We're cooking a Persian uh, eggplant recipe. Eggplant stew. I'm gonna take the onions and I'm gonna cut them up thin, and I'm gonna line the bottom of the casserole dish because we're gonna put the rice on top. We're gonna to cook this Persian stuff. We're gonna, and then once we line it up, we're gonna put the rice on top of it. Okay, and uh, we're gonna cook it in the oven for about 45 minutes. At the same time, when we put the stew in there. Okay, I'm just gonna check the rice to see if it's elegante, I guess you call it. And that's for the. Couple of more minutes. Okay, let me wash this guy too. Just making sure it doesn't smell like onions, okay? And I sharpen the knife. I'm gonna drain the rice in the sink, okay? Or let me rephrase that. I'm gonna strain it. I'm gonna pour, pour it in here and just run water on top of it so it gets rid of the, the stickiness of it, okay? We need mittens. We need mittens. And then we're going to come back to this element and put the oil in and throw the onions in. Okay. I just ran some cold water over the rice, okay, in the strainer. So, put those guys there, put this guy here, let's strain in the other. 
let's bring this guy in. Okay, now I'm gonna kick down the heat on this element, okay? I'm gonna put some oil in it. Yeah, actually, this can go here. I'm gonna put some oil in it. As soon as the oil is hot enough, I'm gonna throw in the onions in there. Okay, that's a fair bit of oil, good enough. Oil never, olive oil never hurt anyone. Or oil doesn't hurt, within reason, right? How's the angle of the camera? That's good. Let's cut up the potato, uh, to, um, the potatoes, okay? Because we're gonna line our casserole dish or something. And I'm gonna cut them, I'll show you how thin I cut them. Right? I'm cutting them like this much, okay? Because we're gonna line the bottom of the casserole dish. That way they, uh, the potatoes get crispy in the bottom once we put the rice in the oven. You can make them really thin as well, but or a little bit thicker, but this is like a good size. Let's bring our casserole to the shelf. Let's do it. Sorry about the noise again. Oops. Jeez. So this is our casserole dish, right? I'm gonna put oil in this, and I'm just gonna line up, line the bottom of it with the potatoes. And I got a feeling I gotta cut a little bit more. So let's put this guy here for now. Let me cut up a little bit more, because we're gonna need it. I'm just checking up the heat on this. Okay, let's throw the onions in. That way the onions are out of here. Nice. And that's exactly the sound I want when I put the onions in. Let's put the lid on it. Okay, perfect. Once the onions are in, then everything else can move along, right? I prefer red skin uh, potatoes also. Yeah, I like the red, I like, um, I like, the only potatoes actually I wasn't too fond of, they're purple, dark, they look black almost. They're too dry, I found. They have their uses, they're not bad, but I found them too dry. I have to find a better way to prep them. Okay, so oil, Olive oil at the bottom of this. Right. Let's put the oil. And all I do is just grab the potatoes and just spread the oil around, right? And then just line here, line the bottom of the pan with the potatoes. These might be even a little bit too thick. You don't have to get oil on both sides. Okay. Yeah, these are a little bit too thick actually. But that's okay. Oh, we've got room for a little bit more. It's not bad though. I can do a little bit more. I'm gonna cut up a little bit more. Let's see. Because these potatoes at the bottom of the pan are amazing. They soak up the oil and take in the rice flavor. So I'm gonna fill up the gaps in there with potatoes as well. Okay. I hope you guys are having fun. There'll be downtime in this, by the way, so I can participate in the conversation once I get the ball rolling in this. 
Okay, perfect. So it's all lined up. Uh, not necessarily. I like thin. I just like potatoes. I, like, I can live on potatoes for a while. I can live on potatoes for a while. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just sp spread a little bit of salt on here. Not much. Okay. Very little. Just a salt shaker. Just right? This one comes out slow. So I'm just putting a little bit of rice, uh, uh, salt on top, right? Potatoes and salt, they're good together. The dark purple potatoes are great roasted with olive oil and rosemary. Yeah, that's one direction I've been going with them, Cheryl. I, I sort of went, okay, I just needed to add more oil because I don't use in general too much oil. They came out really dry, right? So what I tried to do was make uh, like French fries out of them. And that wasn't, it, was, it wasn't oily enough. Right, because I don't use the oil too much. I uh, oven uh, roast them. Right. Now, let me bring this over. Okay, take a look. Now, this is the rice strained. Right. Now, I'm just gonna pour this on top, and I'm gonna spread it around. Okay. Let's put that much there for now. And. Let's just spread this around and be gentle with rice. Rice is fragile, right? So you don't want it to become all squishy. Nice, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna add the rest of it in here too. Let's see. You can also mix greens in this and make it green rice and stuff, but white rice is good. White rice with uh, the Persian stews is, you need it. Okay. And rosemary, I don't think I used rosemary with those uh, potatoes. I gotta try them out with rosemary. Okay, that's good. So this guy, we can just do here. Let's put this guy under it. Cool. Now this guy is ready to go into the oven. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cover on it, foil cover on it. Okay, when I'm ready to put it into the oven. Right now, I'm not going to put a foil cover on. And if you look at the bottom, take a look. We're going to keep on checking the bottom as we cook it to see how long it takes for it to crisp up. So let's just put this guy. Now, potatoes will go here. Now what I need to do is I want to cut up the meat. Okay. After I have a sip. Salute, everyone. Make sure we're doing okay. Nice. Now. Let's cut up the meat. Now for me, I cut up the meat in a plate. That way I don't have to wash the, the cutting board and stuff like this. I just give the plates a rinse and put them in the dishwasher, all right? Uh, just save myself a little bit of time. Okay. Now what I have is I grabbed a kilo. So about 2.2 pounds, I believe, of meat. Uh, what are we drinking today? Uh, Meatball, we're drinking. I think it's meatball. Meatball, <laughs> I think we're drinking. I'm uh, not meat. Uh, I think meatball, but we're drinking lemon liqueur with soda and ice. Okay, because I'm in the kitchen, temperature high, I want something cool, right? And I love the lemon liqueur. I absolutely love the lemon liqueur. And I got, I got Persian. Uh, black tea with ginger and mint. Tech, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, do you have anywhere you put these recipes after the live streams, etc.? I would love to follow one of these later on, but I've missed a bit of the stream. Uh, yeah, we're gonna load this on YouTube and BitChute. Okay, this video, and I'm writing 
some of the recipes this one right now I'm not right now we're just putting out the videos right at some point I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna write down all the recipes uh, like in sort of organized fashion and at some point I'm gonna kick up the heat on this okay at some point I'm kicking it up to uh, six out of nine I want to kick it uh, like heat it up a lot more the onion is going too slow so just a long answer at some point I'm gonna bring all the recipes we've made right all the videos we've done and we're gonna do a lot more and I'm gonna put them write the recipes and we'll have a booklet coming out and hopefully we'll do the some of the mathematics we'll definitely have the recipes but at, at that point the first version of it I don't know if we'll have the ASMR math stuff in there to calculate the calories and all this jazz to link it up to the other stuff so at some point we will long story a long long-winded answer check this out now with the meat I took it out of the packaging and I wash it I just rinse it right so this is about a kilo of meat and there's steak meats that I took they don't have too much fat in them which is okay okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna chop them up into like stew style you could buy stew meat really you could buy stew meat and do this I just buy the steak because I put a lot of work in and I want the meat to be a little bit higher caliber right when you say soda is that uh, club club soda yeah club soda okay. so I'm gonna do this and let me show you the chunks I'm cutting them to about this size take a look All right you can cut them a little bit smaller if you like but you don't want them bigger you want it like to be stew size basically okay. let's get this stuff going And what you can do, this is the same procedure we do when we cook the, cook the different types of stews, Persian stews, right? So sometimes what you can do is just cook up the onions, throw the meat in there, and there's a little fat there. That's not bad. We'll keep the fat in there. Um, oh, maybe we won't. Let's see. I might cut out this fat. Let's cut it out. Um, so you can cook up the onions and the meat and make two different types of stews. If you're having like lots of guests over, you want two different types of um, dishes on the table. You start off with frying up the onions, throwing the meat in there, and doing everything that we're doing right now. And then the ingredients towards the end, instead of like adding eggplants, you add like beans and stuff that you cook later on. Old bread. Why don't you cut on the wooden board because the wooden board I'm going to use more I don't feel like washing uh, the wooden board I'm pretty uh, uh, what do you call it uh, I try to keep my work to bare minimum right <laughs> so this guy uh, the plate as soon as I'm done here I'm just gonna give it a rinse and throw in the dishwasher I don't have to wash it right I'm you know I'm being a little bit too uh, over the top with it to a certain degree but that's the way I am right when it comes to the cooking stuff I don't I try to keep the the meats and the veggies and stuff separate and I have other cutting boards it's just I don't put cutting boards in the dishwasher That's the fat. I'm going to get rid of that. I won't throw that in. If it was grass-fed beef, I would have probably thrown that in, by the way. But it's not grass-fed beef. Here, we're going to put this here for now.
you don't really want to burn the onions. You want to cook them up, right? And I put a fair bit of oil on here, so it should be good. Again, it's cooking at about six out of nine. Yeah, six out of nine. And this is going to be a fair bit of meat, by the way. That's a good thing. Because we've got a lot of eggplant and stuff we're going to put in. We're using the bigger pot. And we're probably going to take some of this uh, uh, for other people to be able to eat it as well. Share a little bit. One other person anyway. Some people say it's a no-no doing this in a plate, but it's worked for me so far. Spot up tea. Sam Sam to me. <laughs> Seriously, one day, one day we do, one day we do in a huge kitchen, we have a gathering. Why not? If it works out, we see. But once we put out the recipes and picks and, and all that jazz, you guys should be able to make, as you can tell, I try to keep things pretty simple, within reason, of course, right? So, check it out. That's how much meat we got. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. That's a kilo of meat, right? So I'm just going to transfer this over. No marinade. Like I'm not throwing, you know, I'm not soaking in anything. Old bread. I was just about to ask you, uh, cooking all that for yourself. Uh, it's going to be two of us and then we're going to take some to someone else so three people and uh, the plan is to eat it for at least three four days right I'm gonna give the board a little rinse. Okay. Okay, now we can take care of the other stuff. Oh, let me get rid of this meat guy. I gotta wash the knife as well. This is hot enough. Oop. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm kicking the temperature down on this to two out of yeah, about three out of nine. Okay, let's put this guy here. Let's throw the meat in. Full of salt. Okay. And I'm going to show you what else we're going to add in there. Well, right now I'm just going to take just a tea, uh, not uh, what do you call it, a tablespoon, a teaspoon. And teaspoon measurements is different. So uh, right now I'm not marinating it at all. 
it's I the meat I didn't marinate it at all right it was just beef that's it right uh, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in this so I'm gonna take about small teaspoon of salt okay and that's plenty for now now I'm gonna take some uh, tomato paste right? tomato paste I opened it up this morning it was in a can so I took it out it, I couldn't find anything in a jar so I have to stick with the can so I'm gonna take a teaspoon of that right now big teaspoon right now you don't have to add tomato paste I am I'm gonna add two teaspoons two teaspoons right this much two teaspoons okay. now when I talk with my mom uh, she said she usually puts curry powder in there as well curry sauce and whatnot and uh, Curry, there isn't really a curry from what I understand anyway. There really isn't a curry uh, spice. It's just a mix of things, right? So what I'm going to do, and I asked her this and she said, no, we don't do that. You don't put this in. So the next thing I'm going to add is, it's a no-no from mom. So she's watching, she's going to pull my ear when I get <laughs> when I see her next time. I'm going to add some mustard, just a teaspoon of mustard in there, okay? <laughs> I would have, if I had her curry spices, I would add that in there, but I don't have it. Okay. So I'm going to add a small teaspoon. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I need to open this up. So I'm going to take water. Just open it up with water, right? You can put some herbs in there if you want. You could put a little bit of meat, uh, a little bit of mint maybe. I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to. We've got the salt, tomato paste. I'm gonna cut up tomatoes and put them in there. We're gonna cut up peppers, I'm gonna put them in there. And once this starts cooking a little bit more, we're gonna start tasting it as it cooks. Okay. Now I'm going to add this in there and once we're done this, what we're going to do is uh, turn on the oven and we're going to start uh, cooking some eggplants in pans. It's almost like frying them but it's not frying them. And this gives it a little bit of tanginess and it gives it the tomato-y uh, color the red color right yes. okay, let's put these guys here let's close this up let this we're just gonna let this cook okay I'm kicking up the temperature to four okay let's kick it up to four now we're gonna bring out this guy. We're gonna use this guy for the stew, for the casserole, I guess. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy. We don't need this guy. Let's put this guy here. Okay. I'm gonna put parchment paper on these guys, put zucchini and eggplants on this. So we're gonna fry it up. Or 
oven cook it at 420. I just, I'm, I'm gonna start changing the temperature. Everything we cooked at 425, it's gotta be done now because people have been talking about it. We're gonna kick it, uh, cook things at 420. One of the reasons is the parchment paper, paper is safe up to 425, so I'm gonna kick it down five degrees. We're gonna do it at 420. Michael Angelo, Michael Angelo, that looks delicious. Uh, you're good at explaining the cooking process. Oh, thanks. I've done enough of it, I think. So let's put this guy here. We don't need this guy no more. Let's bring this out. Now, I got two different types of eggplants, right? I've got the Japanese eggplants, right? This one, we're going to cut up and use when we put the meat in the casserole dish we're gonna put these guys on top okay but right now to fry this up we're gonna use these big black guys right and I've washed everything already okay so we're gonna kick this up to 420 okay. and uh, yeah that's good one on top one there yeah that's good I'm just looking at the trays to make sure that the same they're at the place where I want them to be right now, with eggplants, we're gonna have to take off the skin, right? So usually just chop the ends off, right? Now, I got a few eggplants. I don't know how much we're gonna use, but we'll see. It's just a peeler, right? So, and I have, by the way, I have a little composting Thing set up here when you're cooking just have a little composting thing extra stuff goes in there throw in the compost okay nice oh look at this right now you can't be chooser when you go to the grocery store you're just getting what you need right you really don't have too much of a selection And at some point we're going to do barbecuing and uh, we use eggplants on the barbecue as well. Barbecued eggplant is absolutely phenomenal, like really so good. Okay, let's put this guy here for now. Let's do this guy. That one was a little older so the skin was coming off harder. The This is how easy the eggplant skin should come off. Okay. Eggplant is, uh, they call it a thousand and one dishes you can make with eggplants. From baba ganoush to Ikra to Persian eggplant stew. And this is called uh, uh, Badunjan Horisht. Horisht is stew in uh, Persian. Badunjan, I don't know if that's Armenian or, or Badunjun. Badunjun, Badunjan. Armenian, I think we call it Badunjan. I'm not so sure what it's, if it's Persian we're calling it or I think it's Persian. It might be Armenian slant to it. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna need this again. So I'm just gonna put this guy here. Now, I'm gonna cut these thin, thinish. Okay, let me show you. I could even cut them thinner, but that's good enough.
And eggplants, one of the beautiful things with eggplants, they suck in the flavor really well. Nicholas, how do you use that? Uh, what is it? Uh, the peeler is amazing. This is, is a really good peeler. Uh, like it's the best peeler I've ever used. I don't know where it's from. Uh, like, I don't know the brand. Uh, my mom bought like three of them like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and been, been going at it using the same peeler. Okay. I'm going to flatten, what do you call it? Cut these ones as well. Salud. And every now and then, check on this. Nice. We're just gonna let this cook. It's fairly liquidy now, but it'll cook it up. It'll suck up all the things. Yeah, but did you use it uh, by pulling down? I used it by going like this. It's just pressure. There's nothing else to it. Right? So it's just pressure. Yeah. If that's what, uh, what you mean, Nicholas. might even have uh, enough to make two casserole dishes we'll see I have other trays as well or not trays but casserole pots I guess okay let's put these guys here okay now we need let's this guy here bring out these guys Now I'm gonna just put parchment paper on this and then I'm gonna put oil on top of it as well. In general, you don't need the oil on top of it, but the eggplant doesn't need the oil to cook up. Bro, I'm about to uh, blow your mind. Have you, uh, have you something spare to peel? Start peeling as normal and when you reach the bottom, push up and repeat. Oh, go around. Is that what you mean, Nicholas? Go around. Okay. Eggplant dinner over on my hand now. Catch you later, sir. Okay, awesome. Awesome report. Hope you have hope you enjoy your dinner. Put it in, put some oil. Move it around, get the oil all around, and lay down the eggplants. Eggplant just sucks up the oil, really. Eggplant and oil, they like each other. It's called the uh, Badunjan Khoresht. Khoresht Badunjan. Khoresht Badunjan. Badunjan Khoresht. No, bro. Start at the top. Uh, 
of say for an example carrot peel the peeler down as normal but instead of lifting it and peeling from the top again push up from the bottom and then down again let's try this out here let's do it with this guy let's check this out hold on let me get the other eggplants in there i can't get distracted on this let's do this learn new things you get excited right I gotta remember that uh, down again. If you were using a pay oh, as if you were using a paintbrush. Oh, I followed you. I think I followed you. Could you type it in it? Oh, <laughs> you're laughing, Nate. I love it. My version is really rusty. I know. Same with mine. The spelling of it, anyway. The spelling anyway. This one's thick. Now take a look out of the two eggplants that we cut we've got this much left right here let me put them together so you see and we're gonna bring these out and cook them cook another batch as well okay there's nothing wrong with having oil cooked eggplant in the fridge that you can eat later right so take a look this much left is about so we used up about one and a three quarters throw that in there. Let's mix this up. I'll have to try that later, Nicholas. <laughs> cook it up, cook it up. Okay. We're gonna cut up peppers, onions, throw it in there. Connor, how are you doing? Welcome, everyone. By the way, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows, gang. I saw some stuff pop up, but... Cheryl, is it uh, spelled... Koresh? Badam John. Yeah, I think so, Badam John. Yeah, try that out, Cheryl. If that's the correct spelling, uh, let, let us know. In my country, we eat it with just a lemon raw. Uh, eggplant? Really? No worries, bro. It looks nice. Okay, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Now, I got a bunch of tomatoes here. I'm gonna, I'm not sure how many I'm gonna chop up. I'm gonna chop up a few. There's uh, two different versions we're gonna do with the tomatoes. We're gonna cut some up and throw it in the pot, in the stew. And then we're gonna cut some up thin because once we lay everything, we're gonna put thin tomatoes on top. Okay. And one other thing I need to do, here, check this out. Watch this. Now, if you guys have been following my work regarding food and stuff like this, and last summer we harvested some food because we're growing stuff, one of the things we harvested was raw, uh, unripened grapes, right? And they looked like this, right? So I froze them. And we use them in this recipe. It gives a flavor, really tangy flavor to the food. And there's two, two different versions we're gonna do this, right? I'm gonna throw some in here right now because I want the flavor, that tangy flavor to mix in with the stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna throw in, this is a big guy. This is a big spoon. So one spoonful. I'm throwing in two spoonfuls, okay? Let it cook in there. And I'm gonna pour some in here because we're gonna put it with the casserole dish as well, okay? So I'm putting, last one, two, 
three. Okay, I'm putting four, almost four spoonfuls in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the rest of this in the freezer because I don't want it to defrost. In salad and baked plant, oh, nice. Okay, it's gonna be tangy. I added a few. Okay. Now, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. So I got some tomatoes here that aren't as ripe. So I'm gonna cook those guys up. These guys. And I got some ripe tomatoes here. So let's cut these guys up. And tomatoes, I just usually cut off this part of it. Okay. You can do it after you cut it in half too. You can go. And then just, right? Let's throw these here for now. Oh, that one's already cut. Be careful with the knife. No slippage. the tomato basically to break down okay. After this, I'm going to put the uh, cover on uh, on the rice, okay? Because I don't want it totally to cool down. I just didn't want to cook anymore, to overcook it, right? And with this, what you can do, once you cook it, you can freeze it. Right? I'll see how much we end up making. As you know, I like making a fair bit of uh, fair bit of food. When I do a large cook, especially for you guys, I like cooking a fair bit. That way, we eat for a few days. Right? Yeah, let's put this guy here. Here's how much. This is too much, actually. I don't think I'm going to use all that. And you can eat pop the grapes. Check this out. It's like unripened grapes. If you like tangy tart, oof, so good. Let's dump this. Take a look. Right. Cut off some peppers. Let's make sure this is all going well. Nice. Good, good. So, I got red peppers, yellow, and orange. I'm gonna use up two red, one orange, and one yellow. Okay. 
So let's put these guys here for now. Let's do these guys first. And with the peppers, I just usually go down the middle and just do this, right? And then pull up this gook. Not the gook, but the seeds of it. And again, I've already washed all these. And just get the seeds out. And I'm going to give them a rinse after I do this because some of the seeds get stuck in there. And I don't want the seeds in the, in the stew. And all you do is just grab this and pull it off. Right? I usually do this in the sink so seeds don't fly everywhere, right? And again, I'll give these guys a rinse once I get them all cut up. Obviously, some of the stuff we're doing here right now on this board, we'd be doing in the sink. We're making enough probably to feed at least eight people. Okay. Or two people for four days. Three people for four days. Let me give these guys a rinse. That's the temperature reaching 420. So English alphabet spelling is oh okay check this out. Bodum John Bedem Jun? Yeah Bedem Jun. But it's much more beautiful in its Arabic form, which is that there are some gorgeous variations of this dish. Can we yeah, there's a few different variations of this thing, right? Hopefully ours is gonna look as beautiful. save some of these to uh, put on top of the casserole as well okay we're not gonna throw it all in the in the pot that's half a yellow oh I was gonna cover the rice I gotta cover the rice I'm just gonna cover it with foil okay Here, let me show you what I do actually. I want you guys know what's what the scoop is, right? Put this guy here. So this is our rice dish. Okay. It's room temperature right now. There's the potatoes on the bottom of it, right? What I need to do is check on the eggplants as well. Nice. As soon as we do this, we're gonna flip the eggplants. And then what I do is just foil, 
put it on top and close it. Make sure it's sealed, right? So you fold it over and then just run your fingers. And just like, it's, it's as if you're doing wrapping paper, right? But foil is really good, it seals up. And this needs to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. But we're not going to put it in yet. We're going to put it in together with the stew. Okay? You know? That's what we've got. Good enough. Let's put this guy here. That guy's ready to go. Let me bring out the eggplants. Okay. Take a look. Let's make room for us. And once it's like this, it's, it's already cooked up. It's good. You can cook it more. And I could definitely put more oil in there, right? Which I might do with the next batch. All right. So as they cook, I'm going to remove them. Okay. Yeah, don't even really need to flip it. But we do. So let me do this. I need, I need, I need a plate. Let's put it in this. Yeah, we're gonna take out this guy. We're gonna take out. No, I'm gonna leave that there still. Okay. Let's put this back in the oven and look at the other one. Ah, the other one needs still time to cook. So. I'm gonna leave that one there. Let's bring this guy back. Here's one of the great things. So half an orange, half a yellow, and two or one red I'm gonna throw in here, okay? And the other red and half a yellow and half an orange, I'm gonna to use to garnish the top of the stew. Cool. Now I cut them like that, I'm gonna cut them in half. Right? So we get this size. I might have added a little bit too much tomato paste, right? I should have probably just added one teaspoon or one tablespoon, but I added two tablespoons. Let's give it a little mix. You gotta hit the bottom with this just to make sure it's not burning in the bottom of the pot, okay? Let's throw this in there. Take a look. This is what we got. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All goes in. We usually used to cook it with the green, but lately I found out that green peppers, a lot of people have issues with processing, digesting green peppers. So I've sort of stopped using green peppers. If people are having a hard time digesting it, it's not good, right? Let's put this back. Let it cook away. Now, we need the eggplants. We do need to cut the eggplants, the uh, Japanese eggplants, but I want to take care of this first right now. Okay, let it cook. So, Let's do the Japanese eggplant. Let's check out this uh, cutting style that uh, Nicholas was talking about. Elder God. Over here, Chicho. 
green is my kryptonite is <laughs> your kryptonite takes you out yeah yeah some people have i've noticed they're like oh, oh the tummy oh serious they get into pain and stuff so i'm like okay so we do this and then push up yeah this one doesn't work that way brother nicholas this one is is actually has a slant to it like it's locked it doesn't go all the way check this out see the peeler you can't it doesn't flip all the way it's one directional that's why i wasn't understanding it i think if that's what you mean so take a look when i do this i have to <laughs> when i do this like i can't so push up yeah this one see it doesn't go it doesn't do it i know the ones you're talking about i haven't used those ones for a long time an eggplant uh these ones i shouldn't appeal yet the the, the japanese ones because i'm not going to use them yet i'm going to wait until i start layering the casserole dish but should we cut up some zucchinis as well you know what we got the oven turned on might as well cook up some zucchinis as well uh in the elder god you're spinning around too yeah That eggplant is looking delicious. Looking good, looking good. Salut. Nicholas. Ah, bro, yeah. You need to get one. They make peeling so much smoother. <laughs> yeah. These, this one I really love, man. Really, this one, the handle on it, take a look. It's like designer handle. And check this out. There's a documentary called uh, Helvetica. Helvetica or... Uh, What's the most popular font that's used? It's uh, not Helvetica, it's, or is it Helvetica? There is a trilogy of documentaries. One of them is Helvetica, I believe. Okay. Helvetica is the big document. Yeah, okay. The people that made that documentary, Helvetica, it's a fantastic documentary. You'd be amazed how awesome a documentary about a font type is right they made a trilogy that's one of them they also made another documentary where they're talking about designs of everyday objects and stuff like this and in that documentary this peeler is in there i noticed that after the fact we were watching it, i'm like oh wait a second that's our peeler right so this peeler i believe it's the same one uh same company is in that documentary i haven't watched the third movie they put out yet I don't know what it's about. I forget what it's about. The third one. Fantastic documentary. If you like documentaries, that's a great documentary. Ooh, look at this one. That's what you want. That's what you want it to look like. A little bit less burnt, but that's pretty good. See that? Oh, yeah. Look at that deliciousness. That's exactly what you want. Look at that guy. Very nice. Very nice. These guys need a little bit more oil. I went stingy on the oil. Should add more oil. Right? This guy's good too. Let's bring out this guy too. And this guy. Ah, let's put these guys back on. line this up with uh, more eggplants and one of them I'm going to use zucchini okay once it starts falling apart you know it's basically done well check it out you have put me in the mood to make a batch of cuckoo tomorrow nice cuckoo you can definitely cook this up more I'm not going to. Okay. 
I want to do another batch of, uh, I want to put zucchinis in this one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, you can also salt these. I should salt them as well, but that's okay. Let's put this guy here and this guy here. Let it cook up. Okay, now what we're going to do, now this is going to be crazy hot. Let's give this guy a little thing. Do the eggplant again because we do already have the eggplants cut right now this thing's going to be hot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold this guy and i'm not going to go stingy on the oil this time oops Oop. Come on. zucchini so let's do zucchini as well let's cut up the zucchini this big plant needs more oil on it there we go that's what we need okay just get rid of the top and these are just nice organic local zucchinis like this right never cut like this the way I'm doing right now I just know my knife so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil this is oil rich to a certain degree and you have to get in there with your fingers just to make sure there's enough oil on the veggies. Okay. Let's bring this out, throw this in. Oh yeah, look at this guy. That's what we want. See? Nice, 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 nice. Go on. Look, we can lift up these guys. Come on. See this? In my country, we have a famous dish called. Mos Mosaka, yeah. It's layers of uh, potatoes, zucchini, and uh, minced meat. Yeah, I, uh, our family has had it. We know how to make. I've never made it myself, but it's super delicious. Lebanese, no? Germato, Lebanese? Or Greek? Okay, should we do another one of those? No, we're done with that. Okay, we got enough. 
Ah, Cypress, my friend. Nice, Cypress. And Greeks have it too, right? Armenian, right? So this guy, just put, let it cool down. So we got the zucchinis in there. Let's clean up our workspace a little. Eggplant is amazing. Really. So good. You could definitely use a little bit more oil, right? But that's okay. We got lots of oil in the food and it's gonna cook with the stew, so it'll be juicy enough. Okay. Now what I do is, because I've used this guy with the raw meat, this is the last time because the meat's cooked. Last time I'm gonna put this one in there. I'm gonna grab a new one. I'm gonna put this one in the sink. Okay. Just give it a little rinse. Is your stream quality low, Nicholas? Let me check it out from my end. Let's check it out. You can adjust on uh, Chicho's, you can adjust on this Chicho camera. Let's check it out, wait, where'd it go? Yeah, the stream seems to be okay on my side. So hopefully it'll sort itself out, Nicholas. Delicious. Let's bring out this guy. Okay for you? Awesome. Via Twitch setting. Now I'm gonna put this guy here. I'm gonna remove this guy because I had raw meat on this guy too, right? So That guy there, bring a new plate out. So it's not too loud. Okay. What do we need to do? What do we need to do? We need to cut up the tomatoes thin so we can put it on top. We need to peel some of the eggplants. This is zucchini we don't need. We got that guy, we got that guy. Okay, let's put the zucchini over here for now. Let's bring out this guy. The Japanese eggplant, I'm gonna cut into quadrants, okay? So cut it in half and then cut it into quadrants. You could leave it in half in chunks, but I'm gonna cut it in quadrants. Okay. Actually, let's cut up these peppers as well. So, let's cut up the peppers too. That way we got everything cut up so when we set up the casserole. And then after that, once I get all this done, we just gotta put it in the oven for 45 minutes. Hmm, I should check on the... Oh yeah, they're cooking away. Actually, I'm gonna move it to the higher level. Yes. We'll get a couple of zucchinis in there cooked up. That way we can... Uh, Get a little bit of fried zucchini. Okay. Cool. 
And I'm just going to use a half of a red one. Okay. So we're doing half orange, half yellow, half red. Brando, how are you doing? How's life? Japanese eggplants are phenomenal. Really. For the barbecue, we use the big ones. We don't use the small, we don't use the Japanese on the barbecue. Okay. Uh, for eggplants, usually we just use the big ones. And the big ones you can cut into uh, quarters as well, the way we're doing it here. Let's put these guys in a bowl. All right? Yes? Let's put this guy here. Now. And we don't need this guy anymore here. Dump this. Put this here. Put this thing. Put that there. Put that there. Put up, put up. Uh, Japanese eggplants. Your knifing skills are so nice. I have a small knife collection. I'm not that good, but doing geophysics, uh, you have to be able to use a knife in the field and a machete. I have machetes, I have axes, I have knives, hunting knives. I don't use them for hunting, but uh, you need good knives. You need good equipment if you're ever going out into the forest, like really. this I want to see what this tastes like I'm doing is putting a one chunk of meat in this right with a little bit of sauce I'm just gonna let it cool down and then have a taste of it uh, just to see if the flavors what I want if I want it a little bit more salty I'll make it a little bit more salty if I want to add more of the the unripened grapes I'll add a little bit more unripened grapes Prices have gone up like crazy. Some of the stuff. I make extra food whenever we do cooking live streams. Do you guys have your own grapevine or do you work with a grower? I, we have our own grapevine growing. What we did uh, for two years, uh, 
the first two years we came here, uh, we noticed that our neighbors had grapes uh, growing and their vines were coming our way, right? So I started directing the grape vines <laughs> into come up the up the stairs in the pat in the in the balcony. So we got them coming up the stairs, and I built this wall where the grapes could find a home. It took two years for the grapes to find their way there. And now they have a canopy on top of us. Um, you would have seen it in previous streams if you've seen it. If not, you will see it. We will go out there and I'll show you the grapes are coming out. Not the grapes, but the leaves are coming out. Grapes are uh, growing, right? So it's really cool. Really excited to see what it looks like uh, this summer. So I'm just gonna taste this, just to see. Here, check it out. Just to see if I like the flavor. Hmm, very good. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Let's put this here, because we're gonna taste it again later. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, and I'm gonna add more unripe grapes, okay? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I like tart, man. <laughs> I like tart. And we're gonna add one more teaspoon of salt. Okay. Here, I'll show you how much, so you guys know. I'm gonna add that much more. Okay. Oh, very nice. Let's mix it up. Nice. Let's put this back up. Now, this thing's been sitting at three out of nine, right? I'm gonna keep it there. Salute to Brandon. Brand, Brando says. Take a look. Let's put this guy here. Where is my fork? I put my fork somewhere. Oh, there it is. Let's rotate these. Nice. Come on. already nice 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 and this is good let's throw this back in okay now what are we going to do let's check this out oh very good very good you know what? I think I'm gonna use two casserole dishes. Chicho, I was wondering if you make your liqueur based on your taste, that you always add soda, or you still enjoy enjoy it with without? Oh yeah, I enjoy it without soda. I drink more of the liqueur without soda than I do with soda. There are periods in the summertime, springtime, when the sun's out, it's fantastic with soda and ice if you're hot. It just tastes delicious. But 
if you watch the streams, uh, I drink a lot just on the rocks, usually. And there, there are times where the stronger liqueurs, I just like straight up. Like no rocks, no soda, no nothing. Like a shot glass, but a sipping shot glass, like port to a certain degree. Right? Uh, what were we going to do? Oh, casserole dish. I'll be back. I gotta give this guy a wash, okay? dry and I'm gonna cook uh, cut up one more eggplant as well okay. this guy this guy this guy this guy we'll come out here one more Japanese eggplant right now I'm gonna taste the food one more time we need over here and let it cool down a little and as long as it tastes good we're almost ready to put the stuff in the oven right and then we got downtime for like 45 minutes nice I do I we do composting yeah lonely piggy for sure but when I do this type of cook right like seriously when we do this cook we don't cook for another three days four days and usually when this type of cook the fourth fifth day for a couple of days afterwards we just snack eat lighter and do it in cycles right how many cups of rice did you use uh, one and three quarters of cup okay one and three quarter cup has Casey been around uh, for streams recently feel like we haven't heard from him in ages uh, he, I don't know if he's been watching but he he got busy he, he 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 sent me a message a while ago and said and by the way the images that you saw on SoundCloud were uh, he I was holding up uh, midnight double sixes right he asked me to take pictures of myself to send it to him uh, with the dice that he wanted to uh, do design on that I could use so he he's made our little toot, doot, boot, the 
the emos that we use he used he created my banner he created the uh, the image that we do we're using on SoundCloud now right um, but a while ago because we got into heavy stuff right politics economics it was getting heavy but it needed to be done really because just looking at the data you could tell that something was coming we didn't know what it was but something was coming right so um, he he stepped back he said he basically said he uh, he stepped back from being a mod on Twitch and mod on Discord, and you know I told him whenever he wants back, he's welcome. Uh, we'll celebrate him coming back and stuff like this. But I think once we got a little heavy, he had to step back, which is understandable, 100%. Uh, I wish we didn't have to deal with the heavy topics. Really, I, I really do. I wish all was grand, but it's not, uh, and we have to work towards making it grand, right? Oh, I know he has. Uh, was wondering where he was. Glad to hear his his good. Talk. Yeah, he said he was doing fantastic. He was working on projects, and he has. He you know he told me he goes Chicho. If you ever need anything, just let me know or any like whatever. So uh, it's just the content, right? Oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah smelling nice let's have a little taste mm -hmm. oh yeah nice we're gonna add more of the more of the grape into the casserole as well so I'm not gonna add any more to this okay Salute, by the way. I think I might have to go get a refill. I'll show you my uh, lemon liqueur. So, let's check on the eggplant stuff. Oh, look at that, look at that. I gotta bring these out, I gotta bring these out. Nice. That looks great. Very good, very good. Okay, let's lift these up. Alright, good luck. I don't want to put it on top of the computer just in case. Alright, take a look. Very nice, very nice. Oh, really, look at the oil drip. And these look great, so I'm gonna take these guys out. falling apart on us okay let's put this guy let's put this guy here okay now this guy we need to move mm, let's put it over here it'll be fine over here for now on the rice okay we're ready to start putting the stew in here and start lining things up so I'm going to turn this off. We're kicking this to zero. Okay. Let's turn it off. Salute. I'll be right. Uh, I'll be right over for dinner. <laughs> Randall says. <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Okay. I need. I need, I need, I need this guy. This is what I need. Now, let's lift this up. Look at the steam, steam. Let's put this guy here. And we used to, now this is one thing we used to do. You could put the meat on one side and the eggplants on the other side. And I know vegetarians won't do this, right? Because what we used to do, those people that didn't want meat, they would just take eggplants, right? Those people that wanted meat, they would just take meat. So that's what I'm gonna do for this one, okay? I'm gonna line up the eggplants on this side. Oh, I'm 
so sorry gang that must have been so loud oh i hope i didn't blow out your ears oh no i try to be quiet but i get overexcited oh no oh no oh no oh shoot oh no sorry gang hey what's gray and comes <laughs> It wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. Okay, okay. Not so chicho chill, man. No, no. All good. All good. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. You know what? I might cut these in half. Should I cut these in half? Let's do it this way then. Yeah. This is. This takes Tetris abilities. How's your Tetris, everybody? That one's too long. Here, we can cut this one. Put that one there, put that one there. Okay. We're going to start pouring the meat on top. Okay. So, can you guys see this on this side? You can't. So, I'm going to do this like this so you see it as well. All right? Let's bring this over. Mm, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me do it this way. Let me move this guy so I can bring the pot closer. Mm -hmm. Let's put that guy there. Okay, take a look. All right. Let me take a look at this thing here. I'll bring bring it close to you so you guys see. All right. Take a look. Looks amazing, eh? Here, I'm going to blow on it. So I'm pouring the meat on one side. Okay. I'll probably pour, end up pouring it on top as well because we do need the sauce on the eggplant as well. Okay, let's put it on top. Sorry, veggies. This is meat. Rest in peer ears. <laughs> so sorry, gang. I stopped putting ASMR in the description. more eggplants there since I decided to mix everything might as well mix everything right. Hot okay that's good look at the sauce in this super nice super nice now what we're gonna do is Let's put this here for now. Chicho, the sound wasn't that bad, bro. Just Elder God had uh, beat headphones. Oh no! It's gravity. It's gravity's fault. It's gravity's fault. It is. Okay, we're gonna put peppers on top of this. Okay. So, let me line this up. Oh, look at this! I almost forgot. Look at this! Look at this! We forgot these guys. This is the grapes, right? Unripened grapes. Okay. I need to get more unripened grapes. So I'm going to hit the freezer. Okay. Alright, these guys. Harvest it from our patio. Put it in the bowl that way I can distribute it properly. Oh, I need some for the other guy too, the other casserole dish. Nice, that's good.
Did anybody celebrate 420? Okay, that's good. Can you guys see all the green things on there? Hard to see, eh? Take a look. All right. Now what we're gonna do is just line up the peppers and we're gonna cut up uh, tomatoes and put it up top. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix it up, right? cut up the tomatoes so we're just gonna put this on top and we're gonna cut tomatoes on top of it in slices okay But this guy. Oh, jeebus. <laughs> the camera I'm knocking. And I'm just gonna line up the tomatoes up top, okay? foil on top of this spider-man how are you doing gravity gravity like gravity if we're doing this in space no worries right knife floats in the air or no air knife floats in the vacuum super delicious it's gonna be even better than what I tasted right so this guy's empty I'm gonna put this foil on top here. Should I show it to you guys? Oh, before I put, let me take a picture of this, okay? I'll be right back. I have a whole bunch of pictures that I've been meaning to post on Twitter, Minds, Gap, VK, and Hello that I haven't had the chance to. Just been too busy, right? So, yeah. That way, you guys seeing it, you'll know what it was that we were doing, right? I should have maybe taken pictures as we were going, but it is what it is. We'll do this again. Should we put salt on top? No, no salt. I want to eat those tomatoes right up. Nice. And the uh, eggplants are going to suck up the juices so nicely. Really. They're going to suck up the juices. Well, I put salt in the stew, right? I'm not going to put salt on top of it. Uh, I was thinking about putting salt on top, but no, it's okay. I usually try to 
reduce the amount of salt I'm putting into my my food. Uh, because some people I found don't need will break down tomato. It it will break down tomato, right? Uh, but people can add the salt afterwards, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this uh, in the oven with the rice, and then I'm gonna fill up the other casserole dish and put these eggplants on it, and we'll put that one as well too. So we got two casserole dishes of uh, uh, <laughs> right, and the rice rice dish. So let's put the rice in first. Now, as soon as we put the rice in, we're going to put the timer on. We're going to put the timer on 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Follow the recipe. Probably mother is watching. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Mother's already shaking his, her head. And grandma, they be going, you put what in there? You put mustard in there? Are you crazy? Very little though. Very little. Not too much. Not too much. Right. And we're going to put this guy in. Take a look. Nice. Let it cook up. And we're going to fill up the other thing that we have. We got this guy. Right. So I'm going to put the eggplants in the bottom of this guy. Save on salt and oil. Yeah. And I don't use very much oil. Like this dish, just because of the eggplants and stuff, is using up a lot of oil. But in general, I don't use very much oil. I don't think so anyway. It's all relative, I guess. Right? And we're going to put the rest of this in there. Pour it. And then I can chill with you guys. Once these guys are in. Now we're gonna put red peppers and tomatoes on top of this, right? Put that there. Where's our red peppers? Well, red, yellow, and orange peppers. Actually, you know what? Here, we'll do this. We'll do in stages on this one anyway. Here, we'll take a pick of this and then take a pick with the peppers and then take a pick with the tomatoes. Yeah? Why not? I still have to load up, uh, share the pics of the 10 by 10 math puzzle. We got 99 and a half. Uh, no, it's um, like a Persian stew. No, oh, here, let's do the, we'll do a pick with the peppers and then we'll do a pick with the tomatoes. Why? I have no idea. Why not? Peter, pick. A pepper. Fun. Check that out, check that out, check that out, check that out, check that out. That's good. That's enough tomatoes on there. 
Okay. Now we just put the lid on it and into the oven it goes. Actually, we don't need those. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna fit on top. That should fit. Well, I gotta do a little rearranging gang. is uh, the oven does it right salute I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning up here I'm gonna turn off these cameras we'll turn on the camera once the food is coming out right so let me take these guys down Let me load up the stuff into the sink. That way things are out of the way and nothing's accidentally gonna, you know, fall down and gravity messing us up. Salute, salute, gang, salute. I'm gonna get myself a refill as well. Got a really quick recommendation for you, Chicho. Gin aged with grapefruit and rosemary twigs. Twigs, really? Fantastic. Oh, the rosemary, yeah, yeah, the twigs, the leaves fantastic worth adding to your liqueur cabinet even though it probably doesn't qualify as liqueur. no sugar yeah age with grapefruit and rosemary elder god this uh lemon liqueur and soda and ice but the ice is gone the lemon the uh and there was more liqueur in the bottom of it when I cook, I clean up as I'm cooking. Yeah, for me too in general, but because we're doing a live stream, I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna interrupt, right? But I am gonna do a little bit of cleanup just to put things out of the way so they're not noise, uh, you know, we don't get nailed with the noise factor. Let's do this, let's do this. Where is, and I do definitely need to soak this guy. Take a look. So I'm just gonna soak this and throw everything in. Speaking of recommendation, have you tried the watermelon liqueur yet? Watermelon liqueur, I haven't done it yet. Nicholas, have you done? Has anyone done watermelon liqueur? This guy we're gonna need because we're gonna use to pour us some uh, stew. Oh yes, bro, perfect for summer. Needs very little sugar. The watermelon liqueur. Oh, dude, I'm gonna make. Nicholas, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, I make grapefruit slices. Grapefruit slices. So it's like my lemon slices. Let me show you what I've been drinking. I'm gonna go as soon as I wash down the the board. Let me show you what I've been drinking. 
But watermelon needs a lot of love. The strawberry was crazy fast. When we when I made the strawberry liqueur, we went through that thing ridiculously fast. I haven't made it again because we went through it so fast, right? But we will as soon as we start getting some fresh strawberries. I'm gonna make another strawberry liqueur. Salute gang. So let me throw this here. The rest of it I can take care of later. It's not that bad. Oh, look at this. We forgot to load these guys onto the, onto the, the, what do you call it? Our stew. So we left the eggplant, these guys out. That's okay, we can eat these, right? Take a look. I forgot to line these up. This is, this is supposed to be a layer. Take a look. This is supposed to be a layer. When we put the stuff in, we put this on top and then put the tomatoes and stuff on top. Should we bring it out and do it? This is a zucchini. Should we do? Or leave it alone? We can leave it alone. Because these things taste delicious by themselves. All right, take a look. <laughs> do it, Curtis says, do it, do it. Okay, let's do it. These things are just amazing by themselves. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Let me bring the casserole dish out. We'll do it for one of the casserole dishes, okay? It's supposed to actually go and then um, the peppers and stuff go on top of it. So we're going to do it for the little guy. Yeah, let's do it for this guy. The other one's got foil on it. It's going to be too difficult. But the kicker is this thing tastes so good by itself that Let's put this guy here. Okay, we need to remove these guys. Let's remove these guys. Don't forget the ingredients. Don't forget the ingredients. Authenticity is everything. <laughs> nice. Let's put these guys here. But you know what? Recipes change with each family, right? So you know it's you could do it this way or that way like, oh you don't see you're not seeing this i gotta put on my camera check this out what's going on is that the right one that's not the right one this is the right one put a little black background in it Take a look, take a look. Okay, those guys are... This is what we're gonna put back up, right? So, now, we're gonna line this guy with eggplants. Like this. Right. Actually, this guy we can eat. That looks delicious. This guy we need to. There's a little bit of zucchini. We'll eat the zucchini too. this thing it's just crumbling really nice wow this one's all crumbly let's put it in full-blown mode look at that guy oh these are like so delicious okay that one needs to be eaten too okay one of these ones that is too too burnt already One more. One more. One more. One little guy more. Yeah. 
Look at that. Now we've got to take a pick of this. Okay, I can pop this now. And we'll layer the stuff here. We'll do it again. Happy little accident. <laughs> Happy little accident. All right. Whoa. Happy little accident. Let's layer these guys on. Then we'll take another picture. This is what we do now. Looks amazing. Bonus snack. Bonus snack. <laughs> the steps. Do the steps. I could put one more tomato on top of this. Okay, since we're doing this, we might as well. Might as well, might as well, right? Might as well. Okay, that's good. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's open this up and put this guy in. Nice. Okay. Good. That makes me feel better. Mm. Oh, I put the fork in my mouth, so I gotta use up another fork. Again, I'm gonna go finish this off with a little eggplant thing and go get a little bit more liquor, right? <laughs> I love these streams, Nicholas. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Take a look at this. Look at, look at this amazing deliciousness. Look at this thing. A little burnt, but that's okay. That's flavor as well. Mmm. Eggplant is amazing. Positiveness. Okay, this guy can go here. This guy can be here. Make some room for us. This guy can be rinsed. Go over here. Nice. Okay. Oh, we forgot to put this on top of the it's coming out again. <laughs> it's coming out again. We gotta put these guys in there. The unripe grapes. We forgot about it. Or I should say I forgot about it. Now we gotta take another pick. Now we gotta take another pick. There. <laughs> Connor's laughing. <laughs> okay, let's put it in. Too bad it's physical distancing. We would invite over some uh, friends to. Uh, Enjoy some uh, delicious Persian meals, right? Don't drink it. Ah, jibiz, jibiz. Ah. Let me show you my liqueur, my lemon liqueur. I gotta get ice though, because I want it with ice.
ice. I'll be right back. Lemon liqueur. I'm down to here now. We filled this up the last time, I think, <laughs> didn't we? Delicious. Here, I'll turn on this camera. can eat it or put hair on your chest the quarantine is not bad but I'm used to working from home, so I'm going to add soda to this too. Okay. By itself is phenomenal, strong. And when you add the soda, you're going to mix, uh, give it a little mix, right? Or a little stir. Let's give it a little stir. Luckily, I have a spoon here. Take a look. Salute gang. Let me turn off the camera. We're not gonna need it right now. Salute. Happy Thursday. Oh yeah. Lemon and tea liqueur would be amazing. You could call it a Arnold Palmer liqueur. I don't know what that is. Man, I was so relaxed. Thank you, Chicho. Chill mode. Awesome. Awesome, Brando. Yeah, cooking, it chills me out. Like, this is one thing I do to relax. Like, big time. Like, big time. Right? Cheryl, uh, I was uh, planting my seed trays during the DJ live stream. Nice. I planted a few types of basil specifically uh, with the intention of using them in different liqueurs i normally can't wait for the little dudes to grow but now i'm double impatient nice let us know how it goes i've never done i've never done the basil basil liqueur salute brando salute 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 okay. arnold palmer is tea mixed with lemonade it must be an American thing, is it? Utah Jazz? I don't know. Never heard of it. We're calling Almer Palmer in is it drunk on the golf course. Are you Persian? I was born in Iran. Armenian ancestry, born in Iran. I'm West Coast Canadian mentality. Great job today. So thanks, Maddie. Sorry about the knife dropping. Gravity. Gravity. Yeah, this is an American thing half sweet tea half lemonade how sweet tea half so it's just uh sweet lemon tea like lemon lemonade isn't it lemon tea i've had that i've been to the states they sell it in jars um in grocery stores and stuff right in what do you call it uh, um, gas stations and whatnot because when, whenever i used to go to the states i haven't been to the states for a long time I stopped going to the States when it became obvious that the Patriot Act was never going away. So last time I was in the States, uh, 
sorry my american friends last time i was in the states was 2002 when i realized that the patriot act unless well this is politics we'll leave it alone zucchini what are you guys snacking on gravity I was going to make myself an old-fashioned but I did not have any bitters old-fashioned green tea uh, green tech one of the drinks I love is fantastic whiskey sour old-fashioned I've had I forget what it is though old-fashioned is uh, what's old-fashioned whiskey sour done right phenomenal wow doing the dishes can be relaxing too I agree thank you elder God keep me honest keep me honest I agree I agree you should try passion fruit black tea and lemonade I used to work at a cafe hookah bar that would have a great selection on teas Wow I learned a lot about Middle Eastern dishes like uh, kosh koshiri 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 I don't know what that one is getting Cajun chicken and shrimp from Applebee's I live alone uh, Cajun chicken is good and shrimp that'll be nice and spicy whiskey sour is my drink is it Brando it's Brando correct me or confirm it is so hard finding a good place that makes whiskey sour amazing it is a difficult drink to find done right it is as far as i'm concerned it is the most difficult drink to find done right as long as you're not going like daiquiris and stuff like this like highballs i guess right i think an old-fashioned is whiskey bitter and a slice of orange lemon over ice ah okay green tech are you vegetarian no i'm not vegetarian i'm not vegetarian <laughs> which is cooked up a whole bunch of meat <laughs> Chicho, I know the way to Mordor. Follow me. Uh. <laughs> Elder God, I follow you. I follow you. The precious calls, right? The precious calls. I think you cannot underestimate a good uh, bartender. Yeah. Really. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, great bartenders, amazing bartenders, amazing hangout where the the people behind the bar know what they're doing and the servers and stuff it is difficult to find when you find it cherish it i can honestly say and that goes for anything right any place if you find a place which is the people know what they're doing may it be locally or may it be obviously you guys were online when you find someone doing something right authentic uh, they're sincere about it right they love it <laughs> you stick with them period right they add egg whites in it to make it creamy the what's it called that drink koshiri is Egyptian I believe is it I've never heard of it I might have had it I must have had a bunch of hookah bars but koshiri is a classic Egyptian street food made of rice lentils and pasta mixed together and topped with a spicy tomato sauce crispy onions chickpeas and a tangy vinegar gar uh, garlic no i don't think i've ever had that i've had versions of that but nothing uh, specifically that i have a fantastic bar team i just hope they come back oh elder god i got my fingers crossed uh, i hope uh, you're able to get back up again from everything you said sounds like a great place cheap whiskey drinker I stopped uh, ordering uh, Manhattan's Manhattan's while out I and about uh, for similar reasons and they're more simple than whiskey sour is it yeah I usually when I would I used to go out I don't drink out anymore like it's first of all it's too expensive it's crazy in Canada it's over over the top right and I don't drink very much anymore and my liqueurs are amazing like really salute
shisha. Hookah, shisha. Yeah. I have two hookahs, by the way. I used to have a little den set up in my house where we used to chill and smoke hookahs. The, oh, apple. I've had uh, apple shisha as well. Cheers, my friend. Awesome green tech. Cheers, you guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm doing a double drink. I'm cheering you guys. You guys cheering back. I cheer back again. And then I'm pretty sure you guys do it again. So it's a never ending loop. Oh, we're in trouble now. We're in trouble now. Let's check the rice with the potatoes. Okay. the bottom right it's not close to being done yet so this sucker's hot I'm gonna put it back yeah yeah I'm definitely out of canvas to it before okay I'm kicking up the temperature I'm kicking it up because we got no more parchment paper in there so 420 is out, 450 is in. <sighs> Curtis, can you do a little, fr uh, can you do any fruit in the cure? How about kiwi? Kiwi, uh, you know what? Here, let me show you this. We made this during our last liqueur uh, stream. We made uh, mandarins and kiwi, okay? So I put this together, when did we do it? About three weeks ago? Let's have a taste of it, see what it's like. I tasted it a couple of weeks ago, it wasn't, actually we probably made this like four weeks ago. I tasted it and uh, it wasn't, it wasn't to my liking, so I'm gonna try it again. Just a little bit. That's it. We're just gonna taste it, right? So just a little. This is mandarin and kiwi. I gotta cleanse my palate, so. Cleanse the palates. the mandarins and the kiwi mixed well enough got to go bro peace chat we'll chat at the end of the stream awesome nicholas have a fantastic late evening i guess early morning like oh the timer is not done yet i don't know what time it is you're late late evening thanks for popping in oh wow that is yummy <laughs> that is dangerous that is yummy okay very yummy the man of the legend smith how are you doing chicho looking forward to the et stream tomorrow yeah me too ding bobber i have a couple of questions prepared do you okay okay i had i used to have my own opinions about different opinions it's evolved over time 1 a.m bro thanks for the stream my pleasure nicholas thank you for popping in that was delicious this is a good this is a good liqueur so for the record mandarin and kiwi good liqueur good liqueur good liqueur let's put this guy let's put it back i'm gonna go put it back Pop another uh, eggplant? You wanna pop another eggplant? And this goes amazing with bread. I just haven't toasted up any bread yet. 
that's the oven reaching 450. The cooking session went fantastic, didn't bother. It went really good, man. We're just waiting for the stuff to cook. We got another 10 minutes, but I kicked up the temperature to 450. Salute. Elder God, <laughs> who are you thinking about timing out? <laughs> Maddie. Good food, good food for three days, three or four days we're gonna have. One day I cook for you guys all. Well, I am cooking for you guys, but one day when I cook, we serve you guys all, right? Hopefully. We see where it all goes, right? Persian black tea, ginger, and mint. Tea. And it's cold now. I have the tea going right now. I've had the tea going the whole time, by the way. Take a look. <laughs> I just haven't had a, had a... Had to refill. I'm going to turn down the tea, actually. Ship us a food for a food internationally. Oh yeah, that's an awesome few days meal. Yeah, we're set. We're set. I love ginger and mint. Yeah, ginger and mint, so good for the tummy. It's just in the morning. It just gives you a nice lift. It's spicy. The ginger just, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Should we take a look at the the little guy? Let's see. Look at it curcle away. No, we leave it alone. No messing around, no messing around. Still not little replacement. Elder God, I don't know what you mean. Have you ever tried uh, licorice tea? Yeah, I love licorice tea. Licorice tea, I love licorice. Licorice is amazing flavor. It gives you this weird numbing uh, feeling in your throat, but it's great. Yeah, green tech, I love licorice tea. I don't drink it very often because uh, I don't, like, I don't have access to licorice. How do you make it? I looked this up a long time ago, where they get licorice from. Uh, but it was just passing, right? There's a great whiskey ginger that I have at a local izakaya near me, really. The Japanese tapa places, yeah? I haven't been to one of those for a long time, man. You find one of the, Vancouver has amazing izakaya places, by the way. So good. Great times to be had at those Japanese little restaurant bars. Uh, they're phenomenal. Chicho, do you have, do you love or hate black licorice? I love black licorice. When I was a kid, at the doctors they had black liquor suckers and they were heaven yeah you know what when I was a kid I used to like red licorice not black licorice and then I don't like red licorice anymore I like black licorice I don't like red licorice at all I have no idea what uh, licorice even is on I think it's a root I believe it's a root for all I know, it's uh, trimming up car types, but I love this stuff. Great atmosphere, great atmosphere. Spectral shots. Red was the bomb. You love the red. I loved the red when I was a kid, man. I couldn't stand the black. I was like, red licorice, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I got older, red licorice, what is red? Black licorice, black licorice. Black licorice all day, black licorice all and if you can get it like made from I think it's root like organic raw and all whatever it is it's amazing it's amazing okay I can smell the the stew but in John forest let's check it out let's check it out 
Let's bring out one. We're gonna bring out the little guy and take a look. Oh, look at that. It's so kirkling. Look at this. Look at the kirkling going on. Can you see? Yeah. Crazy, the eggplant on the side is still white. Let's check it out. Let's bring out a fork. Let's do a little poke in it. Okay, we need to... Is this hot? Nope. So, oh yeah, let me turn on the camera so you see. Yeah. Boop. Here. Let me do this. I'm going to take a look at the... Last man standing. Nice. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, we're gonna have a little taste. We're gonna have a little taste of this. Where's my tasting? My tasting bowl. But we're gonna cook it up more, for sure. The eggplant needs a little cooking. Take a look. Here's the eggplant, it still needs cooking. So this guy goes back down. It needs to cook for about an hour or so. So the rice usually I do 45 minutes or so. But we're gonna put this back, take a look. Okay, that's good. Let's put this guy back. And back it goes. I have some rice out here, so I'm gonna mix up a little rice with it. Give it a little shake. So the time on this is three minutes. So I'm gonna kill the timer and I'm gonna put another 30 minutes on. Okay. 30 minutes on. Here's our little thing. All right. Let me have a little taste of this right now. Ooh, ooh, hot, hot. It's hot, hot. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I chewed licorice root pieces uh, when, I, when I quit smoking. So helpful. Lavender hyssop leaves have a licorice flavor and have a great tea. Uh, really? Lav what is it? Lavender hyssop. Wait, there's actually basil licorice as well. I remember last year we bought a basil licorice uh, plant that we tasted. Or was it lavender hyssop? I can't remember. But I believe licorice is root. Is that right, Cheryl? Licorice is root? It comes from a root? Right? Smells so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Happy Chicho, happy Chicho. I'm gonna mix a little rice in it. I mean, it's cooled down, but the, the food is hot, so it's okay. Look at this goodness. Okay, we're gonna turn off the camera. Yeah, they do They do have uh, basil with licorice flavor, but true, licorice is root. Okay, awesome. Thank you for that. So good. Look at this. Using a little spoon.
Mm. Mm -mm. I haven't made this for 10 years. So good. Why haven't I made this for 10 years? I don't know. Licorice is a flowering plant of the bean family Fabacaea, from the root of which a sweet aromatic flavoring can be extracted. Ah, so it's from the what type of family? Flowering plant of the bean family. It's a bean. Wow. Here's an eggplant one. Mm. Oh my god, fantastic. And the amount of uh, unripened grapes we put in. <laughs> oh my god, you show fish is no, not tipsy yet. Well, mm, I don't know, happy. Let's call it happy. Because I just made a dish that I hadn't made for 10 years and it came out okay. A okay. Look at that good. Oh, yeah, you don't have that angle. Delicious. very good i'm gonna add a little salt just to see if it kicks up the flavor it will right but i don't think it's necessary it's uh i will most likely when i eat a plate i'll add a little bit of salt but fantastic Really? It's okay. I would still serve you. Okay, nice. <laughs> By the way, Elder God, I've never been denied service anywhere. Not that I remember anywhere. <laughs> Super delicious. What's everybody snacking on today? We had somebody having, uh, I think it was Ripper having eggplant dinner dish. Salute. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I was once denied service on my 19th birthday. You can guess why, yeah. Ding bobber. Watermelon and melon. With halloumi cheese. Halloumi cheese. I don't know what halloumi cheese is. Tuna and black olives. Tuna and black olives. Nice. What's halloumi cheese? Halloumi cheese. Is that like, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Havarti? Is that like Havarti cheese? Tuna and black olives is delicious. Oh my god. Good food. Watermelon and melon. With halloumi cheese. Halloumi, like watermelon and cheese are phenomenal together. And with a little bit of bread. I used to have it with a little bit of bread. At university, during watermelon season, for like a week, we would eat cheese, watermelon, and bread. One time, my little brother came and visited us, and uh, he was he, he was like younger, much younger than us, and uh, he complained. He sent a message to my mom, "Hey, these guys are only eating watermelon, <laughs> watermelon and cheese and bread." <sighs> I've been denied service to buy beer at sporting events at least a few times. Ah, Utah Jazz. My hobby, my hobby made blueberry pancakes. Nice. Nothing like breakfast for dinner. Nothing like breakfast for dinner. Nice, Cheryl. Blueberry pancakes are delicious. We've made blueberry pancakes before. Tuna steak. No canned stuff. Cooked on grill. Oh, Elder God. Tuna on a grill. And just sizzled, right? Alami cheese is a cripeot crip cypriot cypriot product made only in Cyprus. Is that the way you pronounce it? Is that the stringy cheese? Is it stringy and salty? White stringy salty? 
Is that what it is? We gotta check the potatoes. Let's check the potatoes. Let me do this, make sure we're all good still. Yeah, good, good. I'm gonna do this. Oh, that's still good. I'm recording this as well, just in case Twitch has hiccups, so we could just upload the recorded version. You, yeah, salmon you buy raw, okay. It's uh, not salmon, tuna. Tuna is expensive. Matthew, how are you doing? Salty, not stringy. Very firm and doesn't melt. And doesn't melt. Wow. White and salty, but not stringy. Okay. So it's not like feta. It's not like feta. Is that a, ty a type that you can use to make... Uh, Sa oh, Saganaki. Oh, Saganaki is amazing. What is more money, tuna or halibut? Tuna, I think. Nothing like high quality fish and chips. But it's expensive. But it's expensive. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, slowly getting there. Slowly getting there right but not yet but not yet so we put it back okay that's good my potatoes is the measure is the gauge that I'm using Saganaki is made with feta no Saganaki is not made. Well, I can't tell you. You're Greek. You're Cyprus. You know what it is. Saganaki is made with feta? I thought it was goat. Uh, it's some kind of goat uh, goat cheese. I ordered my wholesale through the pub. And you see, oh, yeah, that's right. Elder God, you must get a lot of food and a lot of amazing deals on food and drinks and everything, eh? Oh, dude, we need a hookup. Dramatu. I've had it made with feta for sure, but one restaurant in Denver made it with a much firmer cheese, and I've never had it quite like that a version. It was awesome. Damn. Corgi, are you here to play nice? Corgi, you love, you love whatever you love? I hope so. There's a lot of sharp swords around. <laughs> a little bit of zucchini what a name <laughs> 920 says how are you doing corgi fun now it's a waiting game we wait until our food is done okay awesome corgi welcome to our live stream we hope you enjoy your stay next cooking stream you should make a cornish thing <laughs> well i've never made cornish hen, so <laughs> funny quit by the way some of the food in restaurants if they're amazing restaurants two dishes that um if it's a really good restaurant they when they do it well they do it phenomenal uh, one is uh rack of lamb okay and the other one is quail if you find a good restaurant that can serve you amazing quail an amazing rack of lamb you found yourself a fantastic restaurant oh yeah maybe they made it uh with halloumi cheese halloumi cheese it does stay firm even if you cook it it needs more time to melt than other cheeses okay and they put the uh, ouzo i believe is it ouzo they put it on they light it on fire i'm doing good just finished homework okay awesome corgi i hope you're doing good work you gotta educate yourself in these times and ever right i work in fine dining 
the secret ingredients are still salt and butter yeah like i don't i barely use any like i'm using salt i'm not even using butter i'm using olive oil um but what i find in high-end restaurants they use too much butter like if you eat at a gourmet restaurant like fine dining restaurant every day you'll die of a heart attack within you know by the time you're 50 you're done right there's too much it's too rich right have you eaten ever eaten greg greg squirrel i shot three yesterday and they turned no never <laughs> corgi yes gray gray squirrel dramatu you've had gray squirrel no i've never had squirrel is it just like a regular squirrel that's gray never had but i've had like little birds uh that fly around we used to shoot them clean them eat them i had a friend that did that so i would go to his house and he would feed me that no 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 <laughs> you've never had dramatu oh you're talking about the butter the you uh you're talking about uh, eating at high-end restaurants have you ever eaten my <laughs> no it seems similar i have not eaten mice or great squirrel <laughs> yeah either wise like a rat <laughs> i've never eaten a rat <laughs> actually the key to absorbing fat is lowering carbs and diet yeah yeah elder god i agree if you if you like fat is not bad but fat with carbs uh, can be a little destructive right so you either if you're going to consume a lot of fat kill the carbs but when you eat at high-end restaurants they bring you fresh bread and you butter and you duck it into the dunk it into the sauces they bring to you you can't help it right you can't help it yeah we have gray squirrels here in cali they're big squirrels yeah. be careful of Lyme disease actually the key to absorbing fat oh yeah I, didn't have one I have a six pack at 47 nice nice but there are certain fruits you, you don't eat elder god right red makes me to squirrel on a stick squirrel on a stick I ate a lot of fat yeah you if you're the stuff you're doing with the push-ups and everything you need that fat as far as a squirrel goes i've seen some videos online where people hunt squirrels and they clean squirrels and the they cut off the private parts of the squirrels give them to the dogs the dogs eat them and skin the squirrels and they got the skin and no dairy no gluten no dairy no gluten okay we got 14 minutes left should we check on the potatoes let's check on the potatoes cooking streams make me want to expand my skills beyond making toast and syrup oh connor you gotta do really if you if you don't cook um you know i have friends that don't cook i know a lot of people don't cook but man learn to cook there's nothing like it right speaking of six pack i just bought some bud light <laughs> it should go good with your squirrel <laughs> Okay, the eggplant stuff is gonna come up. The rice, maybe not. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Let's check out our eggplant fish. Look at it. Just go crazy. Oh yeah, the eggplant, the whiteness is, of it is gone oh yeah look at that goodness okay take a look at this let's lift this up this is crazy hot so i'm gonna be careful with this nice let me show you All right so this guy let's put that there we're gonna do we're gonna do one more taste test i am a private chef i cook for myself and friends and family take a look 
So the eggplant could cook a little bit more. Look at that. A little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more. But I'm going to have a little spoonful. Must be done. goodness look at this goodness we put this guy here we're gonna put it back in a little bit more this is one of my favorite dishes as far as one of my favorite foods this is one of them okay this sucker is hot 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 let me turn off the camera And then I gotta make room on the stove. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. China has slowly reopening. I've been for. I've been fortunate to hit up my old hunts. I was going to, I was going for quail and grouse, but I saw squirrels. <laughs> really good try what city New York City New York City let's put some rice in there and look at the long grain take a look at this right that's what you want it's not sticky it f right right perfect Let's mix this up like this. Your meal looks delicious, savory. I want some rice born all day. <laughs> nice smell. So good. Uh, I bought it from a Persian store. It's just uh, long grain basmati rice. Mm. Very delicious. Look at that goodness. One of the keys to making the rice like this, where it's not sticky, you cook it. I don't know if you call it el dente with uh, el dente or whatever with pasta. You call it el dente, where it's not fully fully cooked, and then you strain it with cold water, and gets rid of the stickiness. Right? Nice spot. They just put your sandwich by the door. Little to no social contact. Oh, the restaurants. Yeah. Brando is really delicious. Mm -hmm. Super good. I'm going to add a little salt. Super delicious. Happy food, happy food. Elder God, do you eat rice? Now, can you eat rice? Is rice considered carbs? It, it is considered carbs, I guess. It's just not gluten. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I did local markets. My girlfriend is Filipino, like the Filipino market. The smell of fish. Haha. Uh -huh. Soul food. Delicious. 
delicious. Rice is okay, but you prefer sweet potatoes, really. I've heard sweet potatoes are supposed to be amazing for you. Ding bob or chicho. Has, has there been a learning curve with uh, regards to responding, not responding to comments? Like keeping up with what's relevant in chat versus just conversation between users. Uh, Ding bobber, it, it varies. Sometimes I can check stuff out. Sometimes I just let things go, right? You can't stay up with everything. I can't. Um, so for me, I participate in conversations that come my way. Sometimes I, I read a comment and I, and I wanna, I wanna uh, reply, but I don't have time at that time, right? And then I go away, I do whatever I need to do, I come back, and the moment is gone, so I don't reply to a comment, right? It's just, you know, I don't, I don't commit myself to, uh, you know, I have to reply to everything or whatnot, if that's what you're asking. Uh, but, I, you know, whatever I can, I do, right? I don't, ex I don't, I don't put any expectations of, on me, I just do what I can. And that's the best I can do, and that's that's enough, right? Otherwise, uh, I don't try to meet anyone else's expectations. My expectations of myself are pretty high, so I try to do that or get close to it, right? And that's it, right? It's nauseating when streamers turn burn through comments like it's a lightning rod. Yeah, no, I I take conversations seriously, right? But if I'm busy, I can't do, right? Chicho, is butter chicken, oh, in your list of recipes, it's one of them, oh, dude, butter chicken is so good. I don't have a recipe for butter chicken. My aunt does. My aunt makes amazing butter chicken. I gotta get that recipe from her. I gotta get it from her. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm gonna clear room here so I can bring up the uh, the stews, I guess. Right. So let's do this. Let's do this. Salute. Okay, let's put this guy here. Let's put the water here. We need to make room. Okay, this cutting board is going. This plate is going. Mm, what do we do with this? Okay, let's put this guy here. <laughs> let's move these guys over. Okay, I'm gonna give this a little wipe. Elder God, you're solo now? Okay. Let me know if there's anything that needs taken care of, right? I can just automatically turn off the uh, the chat if it needs to be. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything up. We're almost, uh, we're almost done. I just want to make sure you guys see the final product. We're going to bring out the casserole dishes. Thanks for hanging around, Elder God, by the way. I'm going to turn on the cameras. Okay. Let's bring out... Actually, do we even need these guys? We don't even need these guys. Ah, uh, no, it does help for it to cool down. We do. Oh, 
at this. See that? Very nice. We'll put it in there for another five minutes or so. Okay. I'm gonna tear this guy off. Ready? Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at this goodness. Look at this goodness. Look at this goodness. Enough food to feed 10 people. <laughs> nice. Hold on, we gotta lift this up too. Let's lift this guy up too. I gotta make room for the rice once we bring it out. It's okay, I need to remind you to rate Spider-Man if you will. Yeah, for sure. We do, we do. We need to do a little adjustment. Curta is amazing. It's super good, really. This thing, delicious. Salut, salut. I'm gonna put the timer on another five minutes. Let the potatoes cook well. And then we'll uncover the rice as well so you see what the rice looks like. The kicker with the rice is, as soon as you bring it out, you sort of have to flip it so the potatoes don't get um, squishy, so they stay crispy at the bottom. You flip it. Okay, I'll show you how, how we do. Okay. If we're gonna do it, might as well do it right. Now, let's do this here. I'm gonna make a little bit of room for us. Let's move this guy. Let me do this. Ooh, that looks tasty. <laughs> Riot, how are you doing? <laughs> Here, let, me, let me move this guy. Let's move this guy. Let's see. There, balance effect. That guy's good. That guy's good. The casserole I'm gonna move over. So, let me move this guy. Let's put this guy in. Nice. Let's put this guy here. We'll move the casserole. This guy over. Make room for the rice to come. Let's move these guys back. Let's move this guy over. A couple more minutes. This stream sponsored by the bag bag. By the bag bag. What's the bag bag? Let's check it out. We gotta try the look at the potatoes. Take a look. Nice. <laughs> full of stuff, full of stuff. The bag of plastic bags behind you. Oh yeah, the bag bag. <laughs> nice. Fun. Fun. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the oven. The fan's still gonna keep on going. Turn off the timer. Now, we gotta lift up this guy. Let me show it to you guys.
See this? Whoop. All right. I'm not. I can't bring it closer because it'll be on top of the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this rice into uh, a bowl, okay, or a dish. No, we need a dish because you want to transfer it out of this and then flip the uh, potatoes put them on top that's the way you present it right so what should we put it in what should we put it in you know what i'm just going to transfer some in here okay that way you see And you want to be gentle with the rice when you're pulling it now, okay? You could have probably left it there a little bit longer for the potatoes to crisp up, right? show you this okay I need to put this guy here and we need this guy Should have put more oil in there. Sometimes you put oil on top of the rice, but I didn't do that this time. Take a look. See this? That's the way you want it, right? Take a look. Delicious. Oh yeah, definitely could have added more oil on this. <laughs> right delicious and it's really good really it's fantastic okay mm. so good where's my fork <laughs> there it is Right, take a Super, super yummy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the rice over, flip the potatoes over, All right? Right? 
just do this. And just let them sit like this that way they don't get soggy and when you're serving you pull pull the right pull pour the rice and then put the potatoes on top of the rice so it looks like presentation wise it will look fantastic it will look fantastic okay that's it gang we just did a major major cooking stream what time we start 2 30 so we're three and a half hours in nice that's a good cook that's a good cook i have a big rain it gets away from me sometimes <laughs> like chicho legendary rob boss how are you doing is this a popular iranian dish yeah it's very popular this is one of the most popular iranian dishes okay now it's time for mukbang up time three hours and 30 minutes almost nice 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 so are we gonna do a raid on uh, spider-man what's his uh, uh, elder uh, elder god can you uh, give me this uh, uh, twitch I don't want to go uh, what do you call it on an open up a new tab and zap it if you give it to me I'll do a little copy paste and we can raid spider-man yeah thank you chill mode oh yeah let me do the ending and uh, ending for us right I forgot about our little ending uh, by the way, Yang, if you like this work, uh, is a conspiracy theory. Uh, it, extraterrestrials tomorrow. Spider-Man is streaming. Uh, Spooderman is streaming. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go find Spider-Man's uh, uh, channel. Doop. There is Spider-Man. Let me grab it. I'm going to grab it. And before we move over there, I'm just going to do a little ending uh, for us. Okay. I, uh, I, I grabbed his uh, name. So I think it's Raid, right? Backslash R A I D and then Spider Man, right? I hope. Uh, I hope that's what it is. Okay. Uh, aside from that, gang, thanks for being here. It was a fantastic, fantastic cook. Salute, salute, salute to everyone. Okay. I hope you had amazing snacks, uh, amazing drinks, amazing food, amazing company well we had amazing company right if you like what you see I'm on patreon okay if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic way to follow this work if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this work I don't put things behind paywall so you can just follow and after a while if you do like what you see patreon is a fantastic way to support this work as well as follow this work okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live okay if you want to participate in the chat and be here doing these live streams as we do them twitch is where you want to be at and our patreon page is patreon.com backslash chicho okay i do announce these streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk and elo and the links will be in the description of this video okay we do share additional information there but uh it's for the live streams main purpose to a certain degree and letting people know what we're uploading to bitshoot and youtube uh for all the streams or streams that we're going to do that don't require any visuals such as the cooking stuff we're going to upload the audio to soundcloud as podcast and we got two up so far okay we went live on it this month may 2000 uh 2020 and we're going to do more okay and we are going to upload the videos to bitshoot and youtube bitshoot almost everything we can get on there youtube sensors permitting and if you want to support this work joining youtube membership is also a fantastic way to support this project okay thank you very much connor will do elder god one kill it has been recorded nice nice 
Ah, Elder God, you one down. Nice. Sharp sword. Ch -ch -ch. And what we're going to do now is we're going to raid Spider-Man. So I'm going to try this out. Raid. Oops. Raid. Spider-Man. Okay, gang. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? We're about to go there. Uh, I think Spider-Man will appreciate and Spider-Man is one of our mods. And for the record, mods uh, that are here, that are watching this, I know there's a few people that want to start live streaming and stuff like this. Let us know. Uh, and this goes out to Vex as well, by the way. If you guys know Vex, Vex is a fantastic streamer that does gaming streams and stuff like this and other streams. He does comic books and he does paintings and whatnot. So slowly what we're gonna do at the end of the stream we're gonna start rating our mods and vex vex and our mods are in the same category as far as i'm concerned we'll try to anyway okay aside from that gang thank you for being here i'm gonna chow down after we're gone and uh, say hello to spider-man okay gang bye for now nice What if are ready to raid Spider-Man? We're there now, I think. Raid now. Boop. Raid now. I think that worked. <laughs>